Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, a new series on my channel. It will be Metal Reactions. I will be reacting to metal uh, music, and I'll be reacting to, um, well, mostly metal, metal music for now. I might branch off into other things, too, if you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm going to start with five videos that I believe I've seen as the staple for Metal Reactions. Full disclosure, all five, I've seen these videos. I know these videos. Um, but I kind of have the same reaction to them every time I watch them. Even when I first watched them, so it's going to be basically the same thing. Um, and the first one we're going to do is Pisces by Ginger. I have to pause it probably every... 15 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds in the video, just to, um, uh, avoid the copyright. But until next time, goodbye everybody. Or, uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. All right. And we're back. So, uh, this is Pisces by Ginger. Um, I've seen this video before. Um, but I did notice when I looked, looked for it that there are video descriptions of other Pisces videos. Other, um, A live version, like an actual live version from a concert. This is a live studio version, which means there is some studio editing. People think that means post editing. It, in reality, for for this song, it meant uh, editing while they're performing or editing pre performance, meaning that they had systems set up in place already. Um, but I saw live at Rockin', which I think is the same show that they did Perennial at. Um, that famous perennial video, which I'm gonna react to that too. Um, uh, by the end of the fifth video, I'm gonna rank these songs. Um, uh, based upon how I'm I'm gonna have a ranking for the songs and I have a ranking for the band by the end of the fifth video. The bands and the songs will have a ranking system of their own. Um, uh, but until next time. But until then, let's get let's get on with the video. <laughs> So, that's Tatiana. I'm not even going to try to pronounce their last names. That's Tatiana. And I think it's Roman. Eugene is on bass. And Vladislav is on drums. Um, that's going to be consistent with most Ginger videos. Minus Vlad. And most, in some of the earlier ones, especially the um, uh, Cloud Factory CDs, it will be a different drummer. I got to look his name up. I forget his name. Um, I want to say Dimitri, but I don't think that's his name. I know it sounds weird to say Dimitri. Dimitri, it's like, well, of course it's Dimitri. It's Russian, so, but whatever. Yep, there's a Star Wars, uh, that's an OG Star Wars poster right there. Do you see it? It's right there. Suffer. 
Pause it again. Um, a five string bass. Um, I think I've seen Eugene. Was it Roman? I forget. I'll have to look up which one is which. Uh, I think no, it's Eugene. Eugene's on bass. I know he's on bass. Um, he's actually considered uh, the spokesperson for the band, even though Tatiana's the lead singer. She doesn't like. She doesn't hate doing interviews. She just gets nervous doing them. Um, Eugene doesn't care. Uh, it's one of the few times that the bassist is the spokesperson. But that's a fire string bass, which is good. Tells me that he's... He's more than... A band... A, 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 a metal guy who has more than five string bass... Five... five uh, more than a four string bass means that... A... He's more than just a beat. Beat. Maker, he's just more than just a rhythm guy. He actually will do th things in the song to accent the bass, to project the bass. Um, a lot of people think metal doesn't have like they'll like oh I like rap or pop because it has the bass thump. It does. So does metal. Metal just doesn't have the bass sound. Because most of the time they have guitars and drums and even vocalists that are louder than the bass. Most bass fans are going to hate me for this, but bass is the quietest instrument in the band. And it doesn't matter how many strings you have on your bass. It's going to be the quietest bass. Um, we'll watch a band later that does bass solos. And you'll notice every time they do a solo, the guitarists stop playing. A lot of times when they do guitar solos, you might hear a drum snare or a bass thump help to keep the guitarist in line but with the bassist the guitarists have to stop because you can't hear them if they strum I've heard this song thousands of times. Thousands of times. And every time I get goosebumps from her. Her vocal range is unmatched. Unmatched. There's only one person on planet Earth that I think can reach her range, and that's Corey Taylor. Um, people can throw all the girls they want at me and all the boys they want at me. I don't think you know what, we mean, what I say when I mean range. There might be girls out there that can growl like her. Right, but the some girls that can growl like her can't sing like her. There is a girl, there is a band out there that can get close. There's a band out there that can do a, a couple bands out there that can do very similar things to what she does, but not at the level that she does. And none of them, well, I haven't heard one of them live, but none of them have ever done what she does live. One So that's pretty cool. Um, what's good about her growling versus a lot of other deep growlers, especially, I girls actually do it. This is one of the few things that, like, well, one of the things in growling that girls do better than the guys do, is audible. I can hear what she's saying. I know what she's saying. I can understand what she's saying. But a lot of times, like with Cannibal Corpse, right, you can't. Um, the two best growlers, in my opinion, in metal, in male metal, is uh, Randy Blith of Lamb of God and Johan Haig of Among Marth. The reason why they're the two best, in my opinion, is not because they're the deepest. 
is because they are the clearest when they growl. They are very deep, but they are the clearest when they growl. Corey gets clear too, but Corey doesn't do it the way you're supposed to do it. He's had issues with his throat because of that. But Corey's still good. Sounds good. Oh, and um, Demon Hunter's Ryan, Ryan Clark also would also sounds good. <laughs> So this whole song is about the star sign Pisces. It's about how she wants it. In my opinion, this is what it says, and she's kind of spoken to this as well in interviews. It part of her wants to embrace society and wants to be part of the society, wants to be part of groups, wants to be loved by a man or a woman. But in her eyes, it's it's a man wants all these great things. And then the other part of her wants to hide away and not be part of society and be left out, like, left alone. Um, uh, one part of her swims for life, the other part of her swims for death. And it is contrasted into her... Oh, my bad. It's contrasted into her uh, singing. One side is... A death growl. The other side is a angelic voice. And we're back. Sorry, didn't know the video would cut out. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's coming. The uh, theme of Pisces is coming through in this, in the way she sings and the way the band performs. Um, but if you notice, the beat is actually the same. It's just sped up and at, distorted as laid down on laid down on top. Also, her voice is at a delay. It's not um, double. They added delay. So that she got her live session. I love it how they smooth back down. Um, her voice, so people think it's a doubling of her voice. It's a delay. They add a delay. They even they've said this multiple times. Either people don't listen to the interviews or don't watch them. Um, they have said this several times. And they stayed consistent about it. It has not changed since 2016. About eight years since this song came out. Or maybe it was a little bit a year or two after that, um, but they have not changed their message. It is a delay, meaning that it is happening as they're recording. Um, to their ears, there is no delay, but there is the delay over. There is a part where they do add in vocals over. Um, it's because there's a part where she does both at the same time, and there's no humanly po way possible you do it. But I think it, people think that that's fake. No, it's just her voice twice. Just both versions of her voice laid over. over. This is just to add chill. She's very pretty. I don't care if people don't like her new look. I do not care. You don't listen to a band because of how the lead singer looks. Maybe if you listen to Nicki Minaj or Ariana Grande, that's all you're there for. Maybe I'm here to hear her. Seeing her is a cheap one, but hearing her is a good one. 
band's unbelievable the thing the thing that makes this band work is they have a lead singer that can do any vocal style and that makes the band more comfortable it means the band can say hey why don't we throw this in and see what happens Well, that was my re-reaction of the song Pisces by Ginger. I hope you like it. Um, it's an amazing song. It's an amazing band. Probably not their best song, but I think it's their best song to react to. Because it's that um, surprise factor. Because other songs, she come, a lot of her other songs, she comes out with that growling. The fact that she comes in with the singing first makes this song a lot more impressive. Um, which is weird because people don't understand this band been been around for, what, five years? She'd been doing that for five years. People now just figured it out. Anyways, till next time. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>